Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to see how to install Apache Hive that is part of uh, Hadoop ecosystem. So this is the just brief tutorial we are going to see. Uh, let me go for this uh, download site Apache Hive here. Click on this release link. It takes us to the Apache Hive site and click on this download release. And after that, select this mirror. And uh, I have downloaded this 12 version Hive download this uh, 0 0.12 tar.zz archive file and I downloaded that one to my downloads folder on my local file system so here you can find that downloaded version and I extracted this one uh, archive file and this is the place and one moment here inside this uh, conf folder you have the configuration files that are necessary for configuring the hive and we are going to see that later on not at the moment so first i am moving these libraries whatever we have got after extracting the archive file to user lib folder because that is the place where actual libraries were placed so i am going to do that one now first of all i need to create a directory called hive in user lib to place the extracted libraries so here i am doing that creating a directory user lib and directory name is hive i would like to create that so so directory creation is over so it's time to move the libraries that were created sorry that were extracted in the previous step so i'm moving to downloads folder and followed by the hive directory Uh, let me see the folder name here yes uh, I haven't extracted this one sorry so here I am extracting now Now I move to terminal and I am moving to the hive directory. Yes, hive 0 0.12. I am moving to that now. So here all these are the libraries that comes uh, after extracting the hive archive file we have downloaded. Now it's time to move these uh, files and directories to the directory we have created in user lib hive. So it's now uh, the time. So here I am moving them. For that, here I have used that mv move operation, uh, sorry, move command to move the libraries. And the destination obviously is user lib followed by hive. So all the direct, uh, all the f files and directories were moved. So at the moment, there are no files in this directory, all were moved. Now let's go and see whether the libraries were moved or not. user lib directory here and we have created a directory called hive in this folder sorry in this directory and here i have extracted sorry this is these are the libraries that came into this directory after execution of the command now as part of the next next step we need to configure this hive so that is the next step we are we have to perform here i am opening a file called bosh rc file to configure the hive uh, home directory in this uh, bosh rc file so here is the command for that editing that file so in this file we need to configure the hive home directory 
like this java home directory hadoop home and scoop home directory so we need to configure that hive directory as well hive home directory so here i am exporting that So this is the actual place where our hive libraries were uh, resided and it's time to export this uh, hive environment variable and we need to add the in this environment variable value to the path environment va variable so now this is the second step already existing value in this path environment variable here i am separating that with the help of a colon and uh, the value in our home sorry hive home directory followed by bin this is the place where actual library is available so when we type hive at the terminal window so it will be taken i mean there is an enter a file called hive.sh file script file in this bin location that is why we need to provide this path as well so till this path we need to provide so that's how the configuration was done here so i am closing this file configuration is over in bash rc file now it's time to play with the hive uh, just type hive and it will take us to the hive shell where we can play with the hive yes we entered into this hive shell uh, here it's time to uh, work with the hive so for this demonstration uh, all we know i am directly taking uh, i am directly creating a simple table in hive uh, as i mentioned this is just a installation of hive a brief tutorial but let me show whether the hive component is working fine or not uh, it, it's enough uh, i mean we, just now we are at the hive prompt it is enough to it's enough proof for us that hive is working fine anyway let me create one table in hive and show you people practically whether hive is working fine or not and i am doing that now i am creating a table called employee in this uh, creating with the following things so i am here i am writing a hive language query to create a table Here I need to specify how my data has been formatted in my uh, in my input file. So here I need to specify. So here row format delimited as usual. And the next one is how these fields are declared in my input file. So I need to specify that as well uh, apart from the rows. So here how my fields are terminated. I am specifying that. Fields terminated by what is the delimiter? So here comma is my delimiter and hitting the enter key. Meta exception. Connection call localhost failed connection exception connection refused let us find out this ddl task let us sort out this issue okay i got the error mean why uh, here uh, the reason for this error message is 
uh, I haven't to start uh, let me exit from this hive shell the wrong thing I have done is uh, I haven't started the demo on set so let me go to the secure shell now and let me start the demons I'm forgetting uh, this one yes all demons got started here uh, here this is list of these are the list of Java processes that are running six total okay and now it's time to move into hive shell so we need to make sure one thing that is we need to start all the demands before entering into the hive shell so that's the thing here we need to note now let me create uh, one more table I think I can get the same command what I have typed earlier I think so yes I got the what one and let me hit the enter key cannot create directory user hive warehouse employee name node is in safe mode all right when I start demands uh, all my name node is getting into safe mode uh, let me come out of that leave so this is the command to exit from the safe mode now let us re rerun the script yes the table has been created now now what I am going to do is well, we just created a table there is no data from it sorry employee is the name of the table not employees so there is no, no data in this table uh, let me create some sample data on my local file system and I will load this sample data into hive table after creating that so here I am doing that with the help of uh, some editor nano editor let me employee details so this is the file name I would like to provide so here employee one and the salary of the employee see here this is the first field employee ID and uh, the, it has been separated with comma and uh, the second column also separated with comma so that's why at the time of creating the schema in hive I have specified the delimiter as a comma so here I have also given comma as delimiter and I'm exiting from this editor and I would like to save the changes yes let me show the details available in this table so these are the six records now I am loading these uh, data from that local file system into hive so for the, here this is the command for that load data in path so in between we need to specify whether we are trying to load the data that is available on HDFS or we are trying to load the data from local file system so in this case I am trying to load the details from this uh, employee details dot uh, txt uh, right so that is why I am forced to specify the local keyword here because I am trying to load the data from the local file system that's why here I need to specify the path on my local file system so here I need to specify that user and name of the user you have connected using your Linux machine and the directory where that uh, local file is available so this is my present working directory and in this uh, directory itself I have that file and I am opening that file I mean providing the details of that 
employee details dot txt and then we need to specify into which file you need to load sorry into which table table name we need to specify so here employee so that's it uh, one moment no file matching the path file all right let me check for double check that one ls employee details dot txt sorry here i have specified user i need to specify home so whenever you are trying to fetch i mean to say whenever you are trying to load the data from a file that is available on hdfs then only you are allowed to specify this user otherwise you need to specify home followed by name of the user you have connected and then name of the input file so that's the mistake i have done and let me spe uh, specify here home instead of user see here uh, it is copying data from the local file into hive table now let us view the contents i mean the records of this employee table yes this is the process of loading data from uh, from a local file system or any uh, file that is available on hdfs into hive table into a hive table so this is the process and one moment uh, here let me rerun the same script and let's observe what will happen at the moment there are only six records available in this employee table and next thing is uh, i am trying to load the data from the same file once again and let us see what happens this time we get 12 records six records from previous load statement and six records for the same for this uh, new load statement because whenever we are trying to load data from local file system it is performing a copy operation not a move operation so it is not moving the file into hive uh, warehouse directory so it is just performing copy operation so whenever we need to uh, load data from local file system we need to be extra cautious and we need to use here overwrite keyword to avoid duplication of data so here that's the thing i am doing now uh, let me view the records from this table this time if you observe the file the two files were replaced with this new file and this is how we can play with the uh, hive that is part of uh, hadoop ecosystem thank you thank you for watching